Welcome, my name's Mr. Hamilton, I'm your teacher today, and today we're gonna to look at our first coding class. I'm really, really excited about this. We're gonna look at the app Hopscotch here. So we're gonna take a look at Hopscotch and how we can start getting used to this whole language of code and how it all works. So let's press on Hopscotch and see what we actually have here. Um, I'm gonna click on the home button at the top left-hand corner here of my iPad just to show you the gallery page. This is the gallery page here. This is where all of my projects are stored. And so what we're actually gonna do is make sure that we come back to this page each time. Today we're gonna to actually gonna start a new project and I'm gonna show you the very basics of coding. It's gonna be really, really exciting. So I'm gonna press on new project here and show you the ins and outs of Hopscotch. You'll have a look over here, you can see all of my characters have come up. It wants me to select a character to get started. I'm gonna select the gorilla, one of my favorite characters, and we just press him once and he pops onto my screen. Now you can see here when my gorilla pops up, if I hold my finger down and move him around my grid, you can actually see the grid coordinates um, happening as I move him around. Now those grid uh, markers, if you like, or those points are going to become very, very important later on when we get into some more uh, complicated and complex code. We're going to use those coordinates really, really well. Today we're just learning the basics of coding, so we just want to get started and I'll show you actually what's happening here. So it starts by saying, give the gorilla a rule. Now when I select that and select plus, it wants me to select an event. The event is what the user actually does. So the user might actually um, yell at the iPad, might tilt the iPad left, might tilt the iPad right, might do a range of different things, and then something will occur. So for our one today, we're gonna select when the iPad is tapped. So that one there. Now it pops up, um, what would we like to actually happen? What's the ability, what's the behavior that when the user touches the iPad, what's actually going to happen? And you can see a range of different things have actually come up. Act like a balloon, animate, break dance, draw a triangle. There's a whole lot of different things. Today, we're just gonna select draw a triangle here. Okay, so we've given it a command, we've given it um, an event, and then we've given it a behavior or an ability to happen when we do that. So hopefully the gorilla when I tap the iPad, it will draw a triangle. That's what we've told the iPad and the gorilla to do. So let's see if we have any luck. I'm gonna come over here and select the start button. The start button will allow me to preview and see if my code is right or not. Um, this is a really important part of coding that I always test my code to see if it works. So I'm gonna press start. Oh no, nothing happens. You can see here, my gorilla is just on my screen. Nothing's actually happening. Has my code actually worked? Well, in fact it has, because my command was that when I tap the screen, then the gorilla would actually make a triangle. So let's see what happens when I tap my iPad screen. It makes a triangle, so my code has been successful. I gave it an event, and then I gave it it's an ability or a behavior, if you like, to actually happen. So that's a really brief introduction about Hopscotch, how to get started, um, how code is actually built. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is give you five, 10 minutes to have a little bit of a play with what I've shown you to see what you can make the gorilla or your character do. This is Mr. Hamilton signing off.